Um, Minister, you had uh, pushed for the mothers not being able to go abroad. The no, 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 no. Very sorry about that. You have misunderstood. I never said they. We don't ask them to not to go. Yes. Only request is if you have a toddler, yes. if you have a kid. Those days they said lower than two years, yes. but again it became five years. Okay. But I also agree a mother should stay with the child when the child is two years. To whom they are going to give the responsibility? To the grandparents. Otherwise, to whom? To the husband. No, the motherhood is that. You have to look after the child. Child is very, very, that bond with the mother. We should have that. That's why I said, when they go to uh, work in another country, leaving their own child at home all alone, uh, it is, is it unfair by the child? So that's why I was not agreed. But nobody can prohibit that. You can't put any rules like that. Everybody have their own rights. But very nicely, very kindly, I said, uh, how nice if you can't uh, leave your child, if you can not to leave your child like this. That's all. OK, so it was just a request. It was a humble request, okay. very kind request. All the people in this society will understand that. But I know why are they going like that? Because of they want to earn money. They want to go somewhere and earn money. But we have seen other side of the grass is not so green. When you go to work in another place, how much problems they get? Because we have to, they, these girls, ladies who goes abroad to work, they should know much better than the, their policies, what, what kind of culture is that, uh, where are they going to work. It is not a fairy tale. Going abroad and you know having a luxurious life, that is not, uh, not the thing that you know. But you know that um, lax and lax women have been already been abroad. But not everybody is facing this kind of problems only. A couple of couple of women, couple of women, uh, facing the, this kind of problem. But I think they shouldn't leave their uh, toddlers, especially babies. Uh, can I know, uh, with regard to this, why is it only the mothers? Why it is, does, doesn't the bond exist with the fathers as well? Listen, you are a woman. Yes. I'm a woman. Yes. I I have a father. I had my mother. Mother having a lot of responsibility. Breastfeeding, your child. We have to encourage the woman to breastfeed the child. I myself did. As a, in the top in the movie industry, everybody thought no, that no, no actress can become a mother. But at the age of 25, I nicely got married. Then I, I got a baby and I was against the milk food. So the mother's duty, that is one thing. And a father normally, uh, yes, even in Europe it's like that, though they say that equal rights and fathers, are, father have to go to work. How can our society has started, you know, from those days, mother is always at home looking after the children, cooking, but that is not their, only their duty. They also have to work. So, but are we having any facilities? That's why that uh, I always say we must have a daycare centers properly in the morning to keep the child and go to work and in the, in the evening or they must have a better timing. But not ev everybody is working till 4.30 we say. When, uh, when, when they have babies, when they have children, they should uh, have more time. So two o'clock like that, go there, goes to the uh, daycare centre, pick the child, uh, and stay more time with the babies, and cook something in the morning. In Sri Lankan, uh, this is, uh, I think, our culture, men doesn't cook in Sri Lanka. But I was married to a Swiss. I was living in Switzerland for some time. Those countries, men have to cook same like the woman. So I also did the same thing when I was in Switzerland. I said. If I have to cook, you also have to cook. 
Today I'm cooking, tomorrow you have to go. But in Sri Lanka, we, our culture is different, no? I, my mother never asked my father to cook. So we also thought it must be, uh, that's how it has to be. Uh, every uh, woman have to, to work in the kitchen and wash the clothes and do the household things. That's the woman kind. But uh, men, we thought uh, they have to work, earning money and give, give to them. So that is the difference. Okay. Uh, my other question is, uh, so a lot of uh, women, because they can't find jobs. Uh, they? Only 34%, uh, that's a 2022 stat, of women are employed in Sri Lanka, according to the World Bank. Uh, so yeah, a lot of these women, because of economic hardships, turn to prostitution. Uh, is there a way, are you all considering legalizing it? Is there a way to ensure the safety of these women, especially with diseases? You know, that question is a very, very, very serious question. It is not an easy question to reply. Okay. Why are they becoming, because that word even I don't want to okay. use. Uh, so, legalizing that, I myself, personally, I disagree. I don't think in Sri Lanka we need this kind of thing. But I want to find the question, I want to give a question like this, why are they becoming like that? Why? There has to be some kind of reasons.